Hi, welcome to an all new episode of the Red Shield of Central Maryland. My name is Sharon Gorecki and I'm here with my co-host, Captain Matthew Tidman of Hamden Corps. And on today's episode, we'll talk about some really cool things happening around Central Maryland Plus. Captain Tidman will share his experiences managing the Feedmore Mobile Canteen. So let's get started. Today, many of our staff are going to wish a fond farewell to our Temple Corps officers, Captain Michael Chisholm and Lieutenant Shalika Chisholm. Our officers made a strong impact in West Baltimore through their contributions with our Boys and Girls Club, several community collaborations with our Baltimore Rotary Club, Sandtown Winchester Senior Center, and our Baltimore City Southwest Police Division. And let's not forget that they played a major role with Cornbread Cafe, with that mobile canteen feeding so many street homeless in West Baltimore. We're definitely gonna miss them, but we also know that they will spread so much love and goodness at their next core position in Alabama. Do you have any thoughts? I mean, they are going to be missed. They have been a huge part huge. of what we've been doing in this area um, and have been just a constant source for good. But I'm sure that uh, Captain Cover, who's going to be coming in to replace them, is going to do a great job as mm -hmm. well. So it'll be interesting to see how things change over the next couple of months. Uh, we're excited to meet her. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to our communications team for their Emmy nomination for the documentary Hope is on the Way nominated for long form religious documentary. Tune in to your local television, June 24th, 2023, to watch the ceremony and crossing fingers that Salvation Army gets an Emmy win. And if you want to stay up to date with our podcasts, with events, or if you are in need of food, rental, utility assistance, visit our website, www.sa-md.org for more information. So I just wanna share that it's not too late to sign up or make a donation for our Play More, Feed More golf tournament. You can visit www.sa-md.org to register. Speaking of Feed More, I do wanna share that our Feed More mobile canteen program has helped and healed many of our street homeless. In fact, our Feed More mobile canteen program provided love beyond hunger to so many of our Baltimore City street homeless who live in East Baltimore. Our Feed More program provided 64,730 meals, personal comfort kits, snacks, and coats to over 24,000 street homeless. Captain Tidman has recently helmed the Feed More mobile canteen, and he has a lot to say about that experience. Take it away, Captain. You know, it's a unique experience, uh, one that I encourage any of our viewers who want to participate to get a being part of because uh, we're really trying to push now. We've done a lot of work in East Baltimore. We're now trying to really push into West Baltimore and meet the need that's there because we know if there was a need in East Baltimore, there's definitely going to be as much, if not more, need in West Baltimore. Um, so we kicked off our expansion of our Feed More program at the beginning of this month. Right now, Thursdays and Fridays are the days when we go out. Um, and my core has basically adopted Fridays. So a core is our church. And on Fridays, we take out food to the homeless in the street homeless in West Baltimore now. Um, first week was interesting because it's always interesting when you do a new thing. You never know what to expect. Uh, we ended up getting a late start because really? of just different things that were going on and uh, different things trying to work out. But even with that, we saw many, many people who needed help. Wow. And we were able to share food and Jesus with those people who came by, which was a great opportunity. That's a big help. And mm -hmm. not usually the people who need the most help won't always ask for it. But the Salvation Army provides resources, mm -hmm. spiritual help and beyond. That sounds, Absolutely. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. So for our first week, we made goulash. Um, goulash. It's interesting because when you tell somebody, hey, I've got some goulash and some string beans for you, the first question you always get is, what is goulash? What's goulash? I, yes. Uh, is, it, is it good? So it's basically, it's like if you were to make lasagna. Okay. Only instead of using lasagna noodles, you use macaroni noodles. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't have as much cheese in it as, as lasagna does. Um, it's... 
it's almost like a halfway between a spaghetti with meat sauce and a lasagna, but it's really good. It's really filling is the big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit goes a long way. Wow. And um, it was it was an interesting experience because it was Friday morning, um, right around 10 a.m. I started cooking and we managed to get everything ready to go by 10. But it's just one of those things where it just takes a little bit longer than you're expecting the first time. Um, but it's crazy cooking for that many people. We had to be ready to serve upwards of 200 to 300 people. Um, and that is a lot of goulash. Have you ever done batch cooking like that before? I have, um, but it's usually been around the 100 to 150 mark. So this is almost double my wow. normal size of batch cooking. Um, and it definitely, you, you go from a mindset of having to make everything um, very perfect and very, very little little adjustments to little things to going you know i just need to make sure that everything is consistent and everything is going to come out and taste good but also be good for the people that we're serving it to quality is always so important mm -hmm. um, so but we we managed to get it all done um, and we loaded up in the canteen and we headed out and uh it was, it was a smaller week for us because it's a new thing you know we got a lot of questions hey are you going to be doing this every week and we were telling people, yes, we're planning to be here every single week that we can in order to serve. Um, but we're looking forward to continuing it on with this week. We actually, uh, we're, we're just doing sandwiches this week. We take one week a month where we just do sandwiches to kind of have a cool down week. That's and fair. Other things that are going to be on the menu for people are uh, chicken. We've had Ooh. lots of chicken that's been donated by Chick-fil-A. Thank you. Yes. And so imagine having a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich for free that was being handed to you by a Salvation Army truck. That's a steal. Uh, we're going to be doing that. Um, also going to be making shepherd's pie one week. Oh, those are good. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. And then um, I'm trying to remember what else we had on the menu because there's one other thing on the menu. So um, if you follow along, if you want to get involved, I'll be sure to share that with you. Just reach out to me. I'd be happy to have you join our team and help with the feeding that we're doing in Baltimore. How can someone contact you? What, what can they do? You know, the best thing to do is to go to our website to sa-md.org. Um, there's information there for how you become a volunteer. Um, and if you put into that information that you want to become a volunteer for the Feed More program, uh, we get notified right away and we can reach out and start making that contact and make that arrangement for you to come and join us because um, that's our biggest struggle right now is we need people. We don't have as many people doing this as we would like. And so we need people to cook, but we also need people to serve. And so if either of those things are things that our, our listeners or viewers are interested in, we'd be happy to have them reach out and tell us. And on that note, that wraps up our June 9th, 2023 episode of the Red Shield of Central Maryland. Tune in next week for exciting new updates and to learn more about the history of the Salvation Army with Mr. Reggie.